I'm George Clendenin. Back in my day, no one confused me with my cousin, Daniel Webster Clendenin. He was the developer who established the village of West Toronto Junction and sold lots after he purchased the Keel property. Strangers ride swiftly through the moonlight. I, on the other hand, was a medical practitioner. I developed a large practice in the area and eventually became the coroner of the county. And in the mid-1890s, during the Depression, I became the mayor for two terms. So this is my home. I built it in 1924, and I sold off my mansion, the northeast corner of Dundas and Pacific. I moved out of it because Dundas had become quite a commercial area, and it was particularly nice because there were two river valleys nearby. And we're going to take a look at those two river valleys. If you're at Bluer and High Park, and you look west towards Runnymede, you'll clearly see the Clendenin is in a valley. If you turn around and look east towards Dundas, you will clearly see the Keel Street is also in a valley. So, let's go take a look at these rivers. Park. I'm standing on a bridge over Spring Creek, about a hundred yards, I think meters, south of Bluer Street. Now Bluer Street was one of the concessions, it was concession two, one of the survey lines between the farms. Bluer, you would think, would be the route to Western Ontario, but John Grave Simcoe chose to build Dundas Road around Spring Creek to avoid the deep ravine. Not so much the water, although water did collect through a large number of tributaries into the main stream just here at Keel and Parkside Drive or, and Bluer. After the junction amalgamated with the City of Toronto in 1909, the larger city had the resources to fix the problem of Spring Creek. They built sewers and they put an embankment along Bluer Street to raise the level so the valley wasn't so steep. We can better understand the embankments if we go over and take a look at Windigo Creek. So come with me now. Park just south of Bluer at Clendenin, and you can see that there is a Gabion basket that has collapsed into the Wendigo Creek. It is the power of the river uh, during a rainstorm that uh, did that work. So Wendigo Creek has been put into a culvert. You can see it uh, trickling out of the culvert today, and it has been buried under three stories of dirt huge embankment which allows the uh, valley to be not as steep and helps transit. Water around Dundas will flow by tributaries into the main stream which occurs just south of Annette Street, runs under Annette Street School, through Ravina Park and down Clendenin into High Park. It will eventually empty into Grenadier Pond and that water drains into Lake Ontario. On the other side of this embankment, Robert Kennedy had a hunting estate. He hunted rabbits and he had trout ponds. They call Windigo Creek and Spring Creek the lost rivers of the junction. But in fact, they're not lost, they're hidden. 